Hey guys, uh, so we had a failure of the spa on uh, I think it was uh, Christmas Eve and uh, obviously, well let's start from the beginning. Uh, I changed the water a couple of days before Christmas because we had guests and uh, turned the spa back on and left it to heat up and the following day which I guess was I think it was the 24th I think I changed the water on the 23rd left it to heat up overnight uh, came down Christmas Eve uh, opened up the spa lid and found that the water had dropped by about three inches and the water was uh, stone cold because the uh, RCD uh, well the earth leakage breaker in the main fuse box had tripped uh, so okay I thought we've got a leak um, not sure where from but clearly it had affected the mains somewhere uh, so I took off the cover at the far end where the uh, pumps and heater are and you can see water literally dripping or running out of this ozone generator uh, just bear in mind now that I've removed the, the back cover uh, the mains cable, uh, three core cable, comes out of here, which I've now cut off. Uh, it's a pretty simple uh, device. There is just a uh, circuit board, chopper circuit, EHT generator, and uh, the ozone is created in this little chamber here. There's, uh, I think, there's probably a some sort of fuse in here. I don't know exactly, I should have pulled this apart a bit further. But there's two contacts, two wires going into the back of it, again all potted. And uh, I've cleaned this up, but this was covered in, it looked like lime scale pretty much. Um, and I would suggest that it's been leaking for a considerable amount of time. Now this works simply by, as I say, the extra high tension voltage being created and uh, the sparking uh, across here produces ozone gas. Uh, there's an air intake here which is uh, just inside this box and then there is an outlet coming out of that box uh, here it's snapped off now because it will always snap off. It, you know, there's a rubber pipe on the end of it, but it's uh, it's so badly perished. The ozone is uh, not not only deadly, but it's uh, it's very bad for plastic and rubber and things like that. So anyway, the rubber pipe or the polythene pipe goes off uh, from this, which is bolted to the wooden frame. It uh, goes up and is coiled around uh, the highest part of the spar and then the pipe goes down, goes to a one-way valve, a non-return valve, and then goes off to the venturi in the spa. So when that's working and blowing water through, it's uh, just gently sucking uh, air through the top, and uh, ozone and air is being uh, mixed and sucked out of, uh, of this end and, uh, and into the spa. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's been leaking. You can see it's been leaking for absolutely ages. I've cleaned this up, but there's there's residue, you know, of, uh, of water leaking all around that. And I suspect to start with, it was just dripping away. Uh, in fact, having changed this, I've noticed the water level is uh, is not actually dropping down as much as it used to. Um, I always put it down to evaporation, but I suspect this has been leaking for a long time, many months, possibly even a year. Uh, the cause of the failure is simply the non-return valve that's in the pipework. Uh, it's got ozone and air going through it, all mixed, and ozone is, you know, really bad. Uh, and the non-return valve had failed. And what can happen if you overfill the spa or you have a whole load of people in the spa and the water level comes right up, the water can go along that pipe through the non-return valve that's failed and uh, up and around the loop uh, and into this. Obviously this is fitted reasonably high up and the coil of uh, the pipe is also high up but it's inside the spa cabinet so if you're if you've got water lapping over the top of the spa it is going to be higher than the the pipework can possibly be 
um, I would suggest uh, changing the non-return valve uh, every 12 months. Uh, this particular unit was about 120 quid. This was the original, uh, which says by Balboa. Uh, the new one from the uh, spa shop in Wellingborough uh, did not have this label. It looked exactly the same. Uh, and they told me it was a genuine Balboa. I don't believe that for one minute. I think it was probably just a cheap pattern part. Or, of course, perhaps Balboa buy cheap parts like this and just stick a label on it. Um, yeah, who knows? Um, so, yes, I would recommend changing the non-return valve on any spa that's got this ozone system every 12 months. They're only a couple of quid. The hardest thing is you'll find that the uh, the polythene piping, it's that clear pipe, uh, will be virtually solid uh, just because of the uh, uh, the ozone and uh, everything going through the, the pipe. Easiest way to uh, get the new non-return valve in was just to cut the pipe uh, and use a hot air gun, hair dryer, whatever, just to warm up the pipe and uh, allow you to push the new non-return valve into place. I've also adjusted the pipe to be very slightly higher and I'm very careful now not to overfill the spa. Not that we did, but it's possible from time to time that you know I left the hose in a bit too long. Uh, whilst we were refilling it and yeah, you know the water level had gone up higher than uh, it's recommended to be. Uh, so yes, uh, change the non-return valve. A couple of quid will probably save you uh, needing to change uh, this unit. Um, you know, I haven't tried it again. It you know, really doesn't make any difference. It's, uh, you know, it's had it. But I'm determined that the new one will <laughs> not get water into it. Uh, anyway, so you, you would think that that was that. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the day after I fitted this, I came back down thinking that everything would be fine. And whilst the water level was fine, the spa had once again tripped off and uh, was stone cold. So uh, that uh, then meant the side coming off again. And this time I found that the heating element was uh, open circuit. There was uh, possibly enough of a leakage to earth um, just to trip the, uh, you know, the residual current residual current detector in the fuse box. So uh, yeah, Christmas Eve we couldn't get hold of a uh, an element because although the shop was open, their spa guy was not there, and they didn't know which one to uh, to give me. Uh, readily available online. It's a three kilowatt. Just looks like a, a kettle uh, element. Uh, pretty straightforward to change yourself. Uh, probably do another video just uh, looking at that with the side panel off. Probably do that tomorrow. Actually, the uh, sun's going a bit now and it's getting a bit nippy out. Uh, so we'll do another video. But I thought it was really weird to have a double failure like that. This dripping water out and the uh, the heating element uh, failure. Very strange. After well, over two years of uh, not a single problem. So change this, no problems, that's working fine now. Change the heating element and the spa's been working perfectly ever since. I have had to change the uh, two, well, four filters, uh, the PWW, I can't remember the number, but yeah, we've uh, changed them again. And uh, yeah, that's about, about it. So I'll do another video, I think, tomorrow to show you the way the components are situated. But do make sure you change that non-return valve, and I really would do it every 12 months. Anyway, hope that helps. Oh, and thank you to the uh, spa person on the, the YouTube comments who has given me his details, and I'm not entirely sure what cover he's said that he would send me or what it's uh, going to do, but I will... Uh, I'll get back to you uh, shortly on uh, on that one so thanks very much for that